Hello everyone, in this video we will see how GeoMeet video conferencing actually looks like. We will conduct previously scheduled meeting which is done in the previous video with three participants. Here we are using one laptop and two mobile phones. We have already downloaded GeoMeet app in the mobile and GeoMeet desktop app in the laptop or desktop. You can see that there is a pre-scheduled meeting which will start in next 5 minutes. The moment we click schedule meeting button it will take you to the meeting itself. Now we are in the meeting but no one has joined yet. We will launch the mobile app uh, for email id ftpictstudent at the red gmail.com and ftpict1 at the red gmail.com and we will type the meeting id in the both mobile then uh, hit join meeting button then it will ask for password after applying password the post participants are parked in the waiting room from approval on the right hand side we can see the waiting room and the participants are waiting for approval moreover at the below middle there is a pop-up window for the same as well this is a very good feature and no one can join without uh, prior approval of the organizer. Now we will approve one by one. So this is the request from FTP ICT teacher in the waiting room with the admit and remove button. The organizer will hit admit button and instantly the participant is able to join. Now we have second request with similar information. This is for FTP ICT student. The moment the organizer hits admit button, he is also able to join into the meeting. Now we will check the participant list in the extreme right corner. Both participants have joined and uh, now we have total three participants. And our organizer info gets. We can see that uh, when a participant joins, their video and audio is uh, turned off. This is handy during large meeting. In case of large meeting, if everybody speaks at the same time, it will create huge noise. So it is recommended to keep the mic off all the time and wait for the permission to speak from the organizer. Then only participant uh, should turn his mic on and speak and then turn it off. This is the primary prerequisite of a successful meeting. In this uh, in the case of video also, participant can turn on uh, all the time, but it will consume more internet data. To save internet data, participants can turn their video off and while speaking, they can turn it on. Now we will see how chat in video conferencing uh, work in case of Geomeet. We will say hello and instantly it will appear in the both uh, mobile application. Yes, uh, see it's coming. Again, we will type dear student, hit enter, instantly it appears in the uh, mobile screen of uh, both user. We will try once more and say please type your query and it's coming again. Now we will go to the chat window of mobile app for both user and we will type couple of messages from the both participant and see how it performs. So it performed well. All messages are available visible on the right hand side we can uh, have both chat window and participants window all together like this okay now we'll try to present a powerpoint presentation through geomeet here's the presentation in this case we'll select share screen option there is only op uh, one option in this case for geomeet it will share the entire screen, uh, entire desktop with the presentation. The presentation is now visible to all the devices. As we go through the slides one by one, it, it appears smoothly on both the mobile. It seems to be have, uh, it seems we have no issues. It's it's flawless. Okay, uh, when we're done with the presentation, we can stop.
the share by hitting stop share button. During the online classes through video conferencing, whiteboard is very necessary. But in Zio also, Zio Meet also, there is no as such native whiteboard. However, in this case also, we can use Google Jamboard, which can act, act as a whiteboard. So we'll see how. We have already uploaded a video on Jamboard, and those who wants to go through it, the link is given in the description. First of all, we will open the Jamboard in the browser. Here is the Jam comes in. Uh, to share the Jamboard, we will use share screen functionality and uh, we will see how it works in uh, this is used to share entire desktop of your device whatever you have in your device it will be displayed to all participants okay uh, now we will open jamboard this is the previous jam that we have created in the previous video as the screen is already shared with the participants you can see that the jamboard is visible in the mobile devices also Whatever you do in the Zamboard is reflecting in the other devices. So uh, we have completed the demo. Geo Meet is very easy to use. It has very simple user interface. In near future, if uh, we get a native whiteboard and a full featured browser functionality, it will become awesome. For now, it is packed with unlimited users per meeting with 100 participants. You should be able to conduct online classes with Zeomit without any issues. Please stay tuned with uh, Infobits as it tries to bring awesome videos. Thank you.